Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So this is one of my favorite super easy chicken dishes. It takes less than five minutes to prepare and it only has four ingredients. Now if you don't like curry, I suggest you click off this video, but if you've never had it before or you like it, I really suggest that you try this. Because one thing that can stink about the crock pot is after a while, all of the meals can kind of start to taste the same. But this one, I promise you, is super unique, really rich and creamy, and no one will have any idea that you put it together so fast. So this is a no cleanup meal, meaning I do not have to clean any pots and pans, except for this dish that the chicken was in, but in terms of actually cooking it. I'm using these slow cooker liners, which I love. I only buy them when I have a coupon. They're about $4 a box, but with coupons and my store deals, I can typically get this for about $1.50 or so. And here are the ingredients, about three chicken breasts cut up, a heaping cup of carrots, two tablespoons of mild curry paste, and three cans of coconut milk. And I consider this one ingredient, even though it's three cans. And that is what the liner looks like on the slow cooker. So when you throw all of this in, when you go to clean it, you don't have to worry about it. You just toss that right into the trash can. Super easy. So I went ahead and added the one cup of carrots to the cut up chicken into the crock pot. And for those of you that haven't seen it before, um, this is what coconut milk looks like. It's very thick. It's not as watery as you would imagine. So you are going to have to use a spatula to get it out. And that's what curry looks like. I love curry. I think it's so, so good. So there is the coconut milk, what it looks like in the crock pot. And now I'm just adding the curry paste. There's one tablespoon and two tablespoons. So that should about do it. I'm just going to mix this up and cook it on low for about six hours or so. So here's what it looks like all ready to go and mixed up. And here is the final product. This is just some instant rice, but you could get fancy and do a rice cooker. I'm using a slotted spoon, so I gotta do a little bit of extra work to get the sauce on. But it's seriously super good and rich and creamy. And if you guys like curry, um, you probably could put an even extra tablespoon of curry in there, and I'm sure it would be super, super yummy. So that is this recipe. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.